Okay, can you guys hear me? I got lots of shadows today. I'm not sure why. Okay, good morning. This was supposed to happen yesterday, but um, my order got delayed. Not because of Stampin' Up. Um, I think it was a UPS thing. It was out in the middle of Kansas instead of here where I live. So I'm going to give everybody a couple minutes to get in here. This is kind of a... Um, yeah, it wasn't on my schedule, right? So I'm going to share with you what I was able to uh, pre-order from on stage. So all of these products will be available um, starting in January for customers and for demonstrators that did not go to on stage. You'll be able to pre-order everything on December 1st. So I'm going to just, I, I just literally got my box and I've just opened it. And so I've normally, sometimes I try to organize everything, but there's no organization. It's in the box. I'm taking it out. I'm just going to show it to you. So here's the first stamp set. Let me make sure I'm in the camera view. So there's number one. I can't say that word, so I'm just going to skip it and just say the cake set. But look how beautiful the fonts are. Wait till you see the paper that goes with this. Well, let me go ahead and show you because I've got some of it right here. This is one of the projects that we made it on stage. Isn't that darling? That's this is the um, the flower right here, and then this is the for you. So, stamp set number one. I love the stamps. Now this is a celebration item, and this is one. Uh, we have something new this year. I'm letting the cat out of the bag. Um, normally you get a free stamp set if you place a $50 order, and that still stands true, but we have a little extra layer, whereas if you order $100, you can choose this stamp set, which is going to be fabulous. Look at all these greetings. You're gonna love it. Okay, good morning, Sandy. The next stamp set is Beautiful Peacock, and this is another celebration item. They showed us how to use this. It was so beautiful. Um, so you could just use this on a background of a, of, uh, on a card as just a background image, like a watermark. And I didn't say the name of this set, Happy Wishes. I can pronounce those, those names. The next one is Bubble Over. Now, I have to say, you know, at first glance, I look at this and I say, well, I'm not very contemporary with my stuff. I'm kind of a sick, uh, simple, quick getter done. But I love this set. And let me show you the sample that we made during on stage. Look at this. Isn't it so cute? And look at these little water bubbles. So there's raindrops and then little, I don't know what they're technically called. We'll see that in a minute. So this is called uh, Bubble Over. And look at this darling paper. Okay, so I've so shown you two of the samples so far. Good morning, everyone. The next set is another celebration item, lots of lavender. This is gonna be really pretty for the spring. This is so fun, opening this box. Uh, sure do love you. A beautiful Valentine set. I love these little teeny tiny hearts. Be mine always and I'm yours. The next set is amazing congratulations. They showed us, okay, so the Stamparatus, which is going to be able, you're going to be able to reserve it tomorrow. They showed us how to successfully use this stamp using the Stamparatus. So, yay, I can't wait. That's called Amazing Congratulations. I think I said that already. The next one is a hostess set in the Occasions catalog, and it's called Cozy Cottage. Isn't that cute? I like the words. A journey is better with a friend. Home is wherever I'm with you. I tell that to my husband. I stole a line from, uh, I think it was Paul Newman, that he told his wife that if she leaves him, he's just going to follow her. So that's what I say to my husband. If he leaves me, I'm, I'm just going to go where he goes. So he can't leave me. What's this? I'm trying to find all the stamp sets. 
Um, oh, here's another. Oh my gosh. You're going to squeal with delight when I show you the next one. This is a celebration item. It's called Party Pandas. Don't you know? I'm going to love this one a lot. And I, it's so perfect that it has happy birthday and love you. So it can be used for birthday or for Valentine's Day. So this is going to be on the top of everyone's list for celebration. That starts in January. The next set is Fruit Basket. Now this is another set that at first glance I said, I'm not sure. It's a little bit contemporary for my style. But OMG, there are little teeny tiny punches. And let me show you the samples. These are two of the samples that we made at on stage. Aren't they darling? Look at these little teeny tiny pineapples and the pear. And for those of you that love punches, there are punches for this set. So I think you're going to like that one. That's called Fruit Basket. Let's see. The next set is Yay You. Look at the little bird, the little hearts. Enjoy the simple things. You're truly amazing. Yay, you did it. You're my kind of fantastic. You've got this. A nice inspiration set. So that is another hostess set that's in the occasions catalog. The next stamp set is Petal Palette. Look at this little bird. Now, I have to say there was a make and take for this one, but it was at the end of the day, and I, I, I bailed. I couldn't do it. I couldn't go to one more make and take. I was proud of myself for doing the ones that I did, because I normally just talk through all of them, and I don't make anything, but I wanted to show them to you guys, so I forced myself to do three of them, um, and my downline got the packet for me, so I, now that I have the stamp set, I'll be able to make the, the fourth one. Yay! Um, anyway, the, the greetings are fabulous, so this is a a two two pack set. The next one is uh, a stamp set that I got at Center Stage. Isn't it so darling? Look at this. You guys know I love birds. I love all animals, um, but this is really cute, and it's going to be perfect using the Stampin' Blends, right? Flying home. Now the the next one uh, we got this in our. Um, on stage bag. So when we checked in, this is the stamp set that we got, Picture Perfect Birthday. Um, I haven't used it yet, but I do really like it. Yeah, look. The next one is Lovely Wishes. And um, the lady that presented on stage for this, oh my goodness, she was so lovely and so funny. And I think she said, I think she called this a sleeper set. I think that was her words. She was so funny. We were cracking up. But this set, although it may not look like it packs a punch, it does. And I really like the font and the wording. So you warm my heart, wishing you a lovely day. You're one of a kind. I love saying that because that kind of applies to several people I know. Um, and now the last set has a story. Um, I wanted this set from the first moment I saw the catalog. I'll go ahead and show you. And I didn't, I didn't get it during the um, prize patrol. And I liked the set they gave me, but I didn't, I didn't, I wanted this one. And so the whole week or half a week, I walked through the center convention center. I'm like man, I really want that bird set. And so on the last day, I woke up that morning and I said, I am taking the set I want and I am going to find someone to trade with me. And I made it my life mission. I'm like, I am not leaving this convention center until I find someone that wants to swap with me because believe it or not, some people don't like birds. And if you don't, that's okay. I understand. I have fear of spiders. Um, anyway, so Honestly, it, it didn't even take me an hour, and I owe it to my downline, Marissa. So thank you, thank you. I love you, and I really appreciate it. So I traded my set for this one because, you know, even though this is a cockatoo and Elvis is a cockatiel, it still looks like Elvis because he's still got the little uh, bouffant on top. What is that called? I don't know. I'm rattling. And this little bit looks like Skittles even though the hook bill is a little large. But anyway, I had to have it. It's darling. And I love the words, too. A little birdie told me it was your birthday. Um, a little toucan of my appreciation. Obviously, it wasn't an early bird. You're the kind of friend I'd share my branch with. Isn't that darling? I love that. Okay. 
Let's continue on. I could rattle about that stamp set forever. Remember those little punches I was telling you about? Here they are. So the little pineapple. Oh, and guess what? This one right here, which is I think a melon, it actually made this notch for the ribbon. So look at this beautiful ribbon. It is so beautiful. Um, anyway, so you can use that for making notches at the top for your punches. I'm so happy to have something like that again. Now, I better not show you that yet. Hold on. This is like so much fun opening this box. So here's the ribbon. Uh, what is this called? Berry Burst, and you saw it on this gable box. And look how beautiful this gable box is. I, I, those are in here, so let me just find them. Good morning. Um, the next item is White Whisper White Organza Ribbon. Oh, that's really pretty. I wondered how it was going to be different from our current ribbons. Oh, it's so beautiful and soft. If my husband could hear me down here now, he would probably be laughing. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Yeah. Okay. That's two of the ribbons. Okay, you got to see these things. What are they called? Tutti Fruity Adhesive Backed Sequins. Did you notice I said adhesive backed? So that means if you struggle using the... Um, Toledo. Sorry. Let me move the stamp sets. Okay. They came crashing down. So if you struggle using the, you know how when you're applying the sequins to your cards and sometimes you get too much liquid glue, or maybe y'all don't, but I sure do, especially right now while I'm trying to make 500 Christmas cards. I have a feeling that some of the people that, that's getting the sequin card might be minus a few sequins. I'm trying to figure out how to how to um, reduce the number. I was gent trying to be gentle opening this because I didn't want to uh, damage any of them. So I'm assuming this is like lemon lime twist. Um, looks like soft sky. Actually, I don't even know what color these are. Let's see. We'll readdress that later but here's some so this was the tutti frutti tutti frutti adhesive back sequins say that real quick quickly so the stampin spots lemon lime twist oh wait lemon lime twist daffodil delight real red and soft suede they don't match those so just ignore me but there's a whole package that we were able to order the next thing I'm going to show you is the Silver Baker's Twine. And I won't even open it because, look, it's right here on this box. Very pretty. What's this? This is um, Memories and More. Some, uh, I think this is the Tutti Frutti Washi Tape. Yep. Oh, here's that beautiful ribbon. Oh, well, y'all already saw it right here, so I don't have to open it. It's really pretty. I love it. What's it called? Lemon Lime Twist Mini Striped Ribbon. It's beautiful. Here's those little, um, what are they called? Glitter and Clear Epoxy Shapes. I got to take them out and show you because they're so stinking cute. Look at this. Isn't that cute? Okay, give me one second. I got to get something. I just wanted to look really quickly in the catalog and see. I, I couldn't remember, so I'm not allowed to show you guys the catalog, but I wanted to look and see how much those were. Because I think they're going to sell very well. They're so cute on the card. And they don't, um, they're not real thick. Oh, goodness. I have no idea what page they're on. Somebody tell me. 
Is this it? No, it's going to be where the bottles are. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. Here they are. Okay, so they're $7, and you get two sheets, okay? Put these aside so I don't lose them. I don't want to destroy them. I'm just going to start setting some stuff in the camera view. This is where I feel like maybe I should have opened this box before I went live, but oh well, if y'all were in a hurry, I apologize. The recording will be available, so I got multiples of those rolls. I got to do Price Patrol on my website. Um, this is the Petal Passion Embellishments. Look how pretty these are. Darling. And there's little leaves, too. My box came, Deb. Yes. Late, but it's here. Not in time for the team meeting. Now, this little thing is called the Sweet... Oh, there's that word again I can't say. S-O-I-R-E-E. -E. I know if you said it to me, um, I could say it for maybe one second, and then I wouldn't be able to say it again. There's just some words I just can't say. I'm sorry. I'm taking this out because I want you to see how darling it is. Number one, I'm going to warn you. I always say this when we get a new catalog. If there's something in there, I'm going to use a ton. I have missed having clothespins in our catalog. In fact, I've pouted and I stockpiled and I still have a bunch because I'm using them on so much stuff. So these little white clothespins, I'm going to be using them. Even though they're in this kit, the cake kit. I'm calling it the cake kit. That's really not what it's called. It's the embellishment kit that goes with the beautiful cake set I showed you at the top of the, the recording. So here's some little beautiful washi tape, some little, hmm, not sure what they're called. And then we've got, you got to see these because they really are very beautiful. Okay, so numbers. Look at these. Aren't they pretty? So you can turn these over on the back side, if I remember correctly, and you can actually color them with your markers. I'll try that on camera. I'll, I'll make sure I show that. And then here's the cake. Look, another sheet. Another sheet. And I wonder if these go with each other. I don't think so. Could you put them on top of each other? I'm thinking out loud. I don't know. Anywho. So there's that. I better put it back in here so I don't destroy anything accidentally. And this, let's open this up real quick and see this. Interesting. Oh, that makes a nice border. Hmm. Cute. This is where I need a bigger table so I can just kind of slide all this stuff aside. I, I'm running out of uh, space to slide it. Okay, what is this? This is called the Petal Pear Texture Impressions. So here's the first one. Oh, that's really pretty. And then the other one. Yeah. Okay, here's the boxes. Oh, they're so nice. We get 12 of them. So if you weren't here at the beginning of the um, video, here's the gable boxes. Very nice size. Oh my gosh. If you had a wedding coming up, these would be perfect for everything. This is the Petals and More Thinlets. Oh, by the way, I am doing Facebook Friday this Friday, so... I wasn't here last week because of um, on stage. Look, there's the bird. Very pretty. Mm. 
And what is this? Oh, I don't even remember seeing this. This is awesome. See, I can look at the catalog every day and find something that I didn't see the day before. So look at this. What is this called? Scattered sequins. Oh, let me turn it the right side. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. And this is one of those thick ones that you only need one cutting pad with it. Now this one is going to be a very popular one because it makes, I believe, a box. Yes, this is the box one. What's it called? Um, Lots to Love Box Framelits. So look at this. So to make your box, you would be cutting out two of these and assemble it. So remember that Valentine set I showed you earlier where the little teeny tiny hearts? Here's the teeny tiny heart framelits. They're not teeny tiny after all, are they? I just call them that because they're small. And I like the word or the name. I like teeny tiny. <laughs> you know what, Susie? Actually, I did. Um... And I wasn't going to, but then I thought, you know what? I have downline gifts to give. I have prize patrol. Like, I am always giving stuff. So I figured that if it's not, if it doesn't float my boat, then I'll give it to someone that does want it. So, yeah, I did actually get everything in the product pre-order. Which I still feel like I wish there was more to pre to order to pre-order. So this is the matching framelits to that cake set that I showed you earlier. Very pretty. The next one, of course, I'm going to squeal because it's that bottle. So it's called Bottles and Bubbles. And... Let me sh I'm going to bring back out the card so that you can see it, okay? So, if you look closely, uh, we used the, did I use the small bottle? Yeah, I don't know. No, I guess I used the large. Who knows? Okay, I used the large bottle. And then, I also used this right here for the greeting and then this is the straw and then behind the greeting is another layer and that was this piece right here so that's how it has all these different layers to it which I love and this is this is a little contemporary for, for what I normally like but hmm, I'm gonna use it it's so cute, and it's, you can use it for a dude. It's dude friendly. I got more of these. What is this? This is the Tutti Fruity Cards and Envelopes. And, well, let's open it up. Let's check it out. But I'm going to take a teeny tiny break for just a second and move some stuff over. All the stuff's going to come crashing down on me in a minute. Okay, where's my scissors? Well, I just had them last night. Oh, I'll use the paper piercer. I want to see these. Oh, wow, these are pretty. Okay, so. There you go. They're pretty, aren't they? That's really nice. Love them. Who's ready to see some designer series paper? <laughs> Oh, before we open that pack of paper, though, I'm going to show, what is this? This is silver embossing paste. Huh. Yeah. And I have um, shimmery white as well. So, I am going to force myself to use this. I still haven't used uh, the other stuff that we have. And right this minute, I can't even think of the name of it. But, 
Okay, let's open this pack of paper. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, is that too funny? That's bananas. I love bananas. But they're packed with carbs. Okay, so there's there's that one. And they coordinate together if you're making a box or a bag. I always check that just, just to let y'all know. Same thing for this. So it coordinates with the back side. I don't know what that is. I would say it's an avocado, but I don't know. It's okay. Oh, I love this one. It's so pretty. And it coordinates with the back side. Oh, I like this one too. Love this one. Oh, I love them both. I like that one. I love that one. That one's different, but it coordinates with the back side, so that's good. This one, this one. Oh, I love this one. It's like sprinkles. Does it coordinate? Yep, it coordinates. Oh my gosh, I love this one. This one's kiwi. Mm, I love kiwi too, and it coordinates. Yep. And the last one, mmm, strawberries and blueberries. I love strawberries and blueberries. I love this one. Okay, so that was Tutti Fruity 6x6 Designer Series Paper. Now I'm going to show you the, wait, let me read the name first. Oh, it's that S word again. Sweet Soiree. I don't know. I can't say it. So here's pattern one, and then there's the back side, and look, it does coordinate. There is some of that blue in there. I was, I'm assuming that's marina mist. I don't know. Maybe? Where am I going to put these? Here's the cake. Oh, I love this side. Not that I don't like this side, but this is a wedding cake, so I will be using this side for sure. Yeah. Okay, the next pack. This is pretty. And this is the flip side. So that cord, look, look how awesome. This will make a perfect bag and a box. Oh, I like this one too. And it coordinates. Yay! <laughs> Same thing. So this coordinates. Oh, yay. Every single sheet of this coordinates with the back side, which will make perfect boxes and bags. Okay, what other paper do I have? Oh, I have one more pack of paper. I'm just making sure I don't have any others. Oh, I gotta show you the crinkle paper. So let me open this. This is Bubbles and Fizz. This might be my most favorite pack of paper in the Occasions catalog. You'll see why in just a minute. Is this in the Occasions? I think so. I don't know. I don't know what's in which catalog, so I apologize. So here's this side. Look at this. I could squeal with happiness. So this side, and um, it coordinates with the back side. And then this pattern with this pattern. Oh, I love this too. So this one, and it does coordinate. Look at this heart paper. So you can use this for Valentine's Day. Bottle caps, and then the back side, and it coordinates. And then this one. And it does coordinate because if you don't like this pattern, you can use this pattern. And look, it has just a little touch of a, that um, lemon lime twist so that it you can pull that color out when you're making something. 
So I do like that as well. And then this one. This one would be probably my most favorite pattern in that pack. I don't know what, why, when I became such a Bermuda Bay lover, but I love it. It's beautiful, and they coordinate well. Now, let me, there's just no way to open this without making y'all listen. Sorry. So we have crinkle paper. What, what's the real term? Hold on. Ready Shreddy. Oh my gosh, isn't that darling? So this is called Ready Shreddy. And it, there's white, silver. I think this is Rich Razzleberry. So it goes with this sweet. Yeah, Ready Shreddy. That's so cute. I'll never remember that though. And then I think, do I have more? Let's see. I ordered duplicates of something, so... Okay, that's it, except for we're going to open up this. Now, while I have uh, y'all's attention, the Stamparatus goes... Well, it doesn't go on sale. We can reserve our copy tomorrow. I'm going to have a sign-up form on my website that I need you to please fill out. Uh, I'm going to be sending you all a free gift when your Stamparatus ships. So I'm going to film another video and explain all of that, but I need you to let me know that you've reserved it because I'm not going to get notification. I'm not going to know. So in return for filling out my form, I'm going to send you a gift when your Stamparatus ships in probably early February. So I just want to make sure I'm going to say that like a gazillion times so that people don't forget. Fill out the form on my website and um, you'll be getting the gift. What is this called? Where's the name? I already peeled the name off, so I have no idea what it's called. It's uh, one of the kits. So here's the stamp set, which is really lovely. I like the greetings. And you get four watercolor pencils. And these are not in our current watercolor pencil collection, so there might be a couple that's in there. But I know the Lemon Lime Twist is not... I'll make sure to point that out when, when the catalog goes live, which ones are included and which ones aren't. Is the Lemon Lime Twist the only new one, Deb? I thought there was two of them that, that are new, that are not in our existing collection of watercolor pencils. I want to show y'all this because it really is fabulous. Look, you get a block if you order the kit, and it says Stampin' Up. Oh, I love this block. Can I give y'all a tip? So if you have a little teeny tiny, um, hold on, I gotta explain this. If you have a teeny tiny greeting, instead of putting it on this side, you can actually put it on the edge. I wonder if I have one right here. I usually have random stamps sitting Nope, I don't have one. Whoops, and I just knocked over my thingy. Oh, I can't see the comments now. Anyway, you can put your greeting on this, and you can stamp down just like that. So any teeny tiny greetings will fit on there. Now let's get to the good stuff. The pieces inside this kit. So we've got some vellum. I don't think you can see that. Let's see. Let me hold it over this. You still can't see it. It's almost, in, it's invisible. It's vellum. <laughs> so I'll show you the other pieces. So this, this. Now look at these. So you're going to take your pencils and color them in. And I think they were they were showing on stage that you don't have to color every single piece in. You can just color a few of the images, kind of like the little snowman that I did last night during our team meeting. I just colored parts of him, not the whole thing. So it's okay to have some uncolored pieces in there. Okay, so I think that is, whew, I got a lot of stuff on my desk now. That's everything that I was able to pre-order. I did pre-order everything, but like I said, I, whatever doesn't float my boat, I can give, I can give away or I can give to my downline. I'm always looking for cool stuff to give. 
Was there anything that you guys wanted to see a second time or you wanted to see closer before I sign off? I'm going to go ahead and open this Memories and More. This is the only thing I didn't open um, on the camera. Oh, the bird. Look how cute. Okay, so last call for questions. I'm going to open these and go through them real quick and then sign off. I did the team meeting last night right here in this station, and then now I'm doing this. You would have a heart attack if you saw all the stuff around here. Okay, so... These are really pretty. Very pretty. Uh -oh. Come back here. Oh. To think of you is to smile. That's darling. Let's look at this bird one. Oh, too cute. Love life. So you guys know that you can make cards with these if, if you're not into um, memory keeping. Oh, I could take a hundred of these. I love making notes on these and slide them inside cards. Last one. You missed the stamp sets? Okay, I can, I can grab those real quick. Or you guys could... Um, I think I covered the stamp sets in the very, very, very beginning. The recording will be available as soon as I'm done. I'll show them to you real quick. There's not that many stamp sets. I love stamps, so I definitely wished I could order more. You and me, the best is yet to be. What's this one say? You are my sunshine. Oh, cool. Okay, I'll grab the stamp sets really quick. They're right here in front of my feet. Although I don't really have sp uh, space for them, do I? <laughs> okay, so for those of you that already saw these, have a great day. Um, I will be posting this video onto my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. Um, later today so it will be available yay you this is a hostess set i'm gonna zip through these really quickly so um hostess set in the occasions catalog and then petal palette and it's a two set the bird maybe i should put the bird on top even though it's box two of two the fruit basket so the fruit basket is the stamp set that made these cute little tags. See, I said I was going to go through this fast, but I'm not. Party Pandas. Darling. This is Celebration. Cozy Cottage. Hostess. Sure do love you. This goes with that awesome box, thin lit framework. Amazing congratulations. This is going to be perfect for Stamparatus. Lovely Wishes. We call that this, what'd she call it? Sleeper set. But it's not going to be a sleeper. We're going to make it popular. Bird banter. My, one of my favorites. Picture perfect birthday. Fly in home. Love, love. Lots of lavender. This is a celebration set. Bubble over. So if you missed the card, here's the one of the cards we made at the Make and Takes. Using bubble over. Beautiful peacock, which is a celebration. This year we have... Uh, a layer up or a tier um, celebration offering so if you place a $50 order you can choose from the $50 stamp sets if you go up to a hundred this is one of your choices which is a really awesome set um, yeah what's it called happy wishes and the last set is the cake set because I can't say that word but very beautiful and this stamp set is what we use to make this um, tag for our gable box 
Okay. That was pretty quick, right? <laughs> Any questions before I sign off? Thank you. Okay, well, you guys have a great day, and I will see you later. Definitely on Friday. Facebook Friday again. 37. Bye.